Hey gamers! If you're a fan of Metrovania games, then you've come to the right place. In this video, we will talk about amazing Metroidvania games that were already released in 2024. Of course there is not early access, which you can play the full games until finished. I know some of you may disagree with my list, but that's okay. All I know is that these games are amazing. But before we go into the list, let's hear quick words from our sponsor. If you want to buy games with amazing discount, then our sponsor is what you need. And that's at Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming it's my favorite place to buy games. Besides you will get amazing discounts, you can also get giveaways here. I mean look at this games. Do you believe you will get this amazing discount from another place? In Instant Gaming you can also buy from various platforms from PC, PS5, Xbox and also Nintendo Switch. So what are you waiting for? Go check out your favorite games with the link in the description below and start save your money to buy games with Instant Gaming. By clicking my link, you are not only save your money with amazing discount, but also support this channel. Alright then, let's get back into the list. Tales of Kenzerazao is a side-scrolling Metroidvania action platformer with a story heavily influenced by Central and East African mythology, specifically revolving around ancestor worship and the themes of grief and loss. The game a straightforward combat system, utilizing shaman masks that grants out powers related to the moon and sun, applicable for range and melee attacks. The ability to switch between these masks also adds a tactical element to encounters. This emotional depth is woven into the gameplay mechanics, ensuring that players feel invested not only in the journey but also in Zhao's personal growth. Despite its relatively short gameplay duration, Tales of Kenzura Zhao stands out for its engaging and emotionally resonant storyline, making it a significant title for enthusiasts of the Metroidvania genre. Turbo Kid is a Metroidvania serving as a sequel to the cult favorite film of the same name released in 2015. You play as Turbo Kid, a BMX riding hero armed with a magical turbo glove. Early on, Turbo Kid is robbed by bandits, setting him on a quest to reclaim his gear with assistance from Naomi, a tech whiz. The gameplay is an homage to the classic 16-bit era, with its striking pixel art and modern lighting effects creating an immersive experience. Combat maintains a thrilling pace, featuring ultraviolent action tempered by a sprinkle of humor, ensuring it never feels overly grim. The game successfully balances gore with charm, making it enjoyable without feeling unpleasant. I already mentioned about this game, but I think some people forgot about this one. Ultros is a vibrant indie Metroidvania game that combines a striking aesthetic in stylish combat and utilizes an innovative evade mechanic to enhance their experience. As enemies are defeated, they drop consumable body parts, encouraging varied attack strategies that yield better rewards. The game's unique gardening system allows players to cultivate plants that contribute to puzzle solving and exploration, integrating gameplay with its colorful setting. A simple damage slider provides a customizable difficulty experience, although the absence of descriptive tooltips for items can be frustrating. Despite some minor issues with clarity in gameplay elements, Ultro shines as a memorable title that beautifully balances aesthetics, mechanics, and exploration. It's a game worth watching for fans of the genre, offering a fresh take on familiar concepts. Venture to the Vile is a captivating 2.5D Metroidvania that feels like a beautifully wrapped Pandora's box, exciting, mysterious, and a little terrifying. The game draws you in with its striking visuals like Little Nightmares and Lies of P, where the world is drenched in darkness, peppered with grotesque enemies and uncanny details that keep you on edge. Players engage in fast-paced platforming that requires skillful movement and an understanding of the game's mechanics. The game features a day-slash-night cycle that affects enemy behaviors and unlocks different quests and items, enhancing exploration and strategy. Biogun is an innovative entry in the Metroidvania genre, inviting players to explore the inner workings of a dog as a vaccine battling the duper virus. The game features a unique premise where players navigate various organs and face quirky, anthropomorphic characters. 
The gameplay primarily revolves around exploration and combat within your dog's body, where players can control and shoot using intuitive analog sticks. This control scheme allows for a rewarding mix of platforming and shooting, especially during engaging boss battles. You'll earn upgrades by defeating bosses and completing quests. These enhancements, like double jumps or swimming abilities, not only invigorate gameplay but also unlock new areas waiting to be discovered. Crypt Custodian is an engaging top-down Metroidvania game where players control Pluto, a ghostly cat sentenced to clean up the afterlife. The game presents a whimsical narrative about cats in the afterlife, along with a compelling rebellion subplot involving fellow spirits. Gameplay mechanics closely resemble classic Zelda titles, featuring exploration, tight combat, and a variety of upgrades. Collectibles play a significant role in Crypt Custodian, particularly passive upgrades that can drastically change gameplay. These range from simple health boosts to chaotic abilities like making defeated enemies explode into projectiles. Players need to strategize how to distribute upgrade points earned throughout the game, ensuring that they can maximize Pluto's potential and adapt to various combat scenarios. Gestalt Steam and Cinder is a captivating platformer set in a handcrafted steampunk world where players take on the role of Alethea, an elite mercenary. The gameplay is perceived as relatively easy, and the estimated playtime of around 8 hours includes side quests, but the game's difficulty can contribute to a perception that it is shorter than expected. However, the combat system is fluid and engaging, blending melee and ranged attacks with a rewarding skill tree that encourages player progression. The pixel art and animations are beautifully crafted, yet the world does not offer the expansive exploration characteristic of Metroidvania titles. But if you seek an action platformer that offers a delightful combat system and enchanting visuals, Gestalt Steam and Cinder deserve a spot on your gaming list. Biomorph is a Metroidvania game featuring hand-drawn art and a captivating story. Players start in a decrepit alien facility with little memory of their past, guided by talking weapons. A key gameplay mechanic allows players to defeat enemies and morph into them, unlocking new abilities and enhancing exploration. This mechanic echoes the transformative gameplay found in titles like Super Mario Odyssey but integrates it into the Metroidvania format, allowing for deeper exploration and unique puzzle-solving challenges. The narrative revolves around an alien invasion affecting a nearby city, where players can complete quests and rebuild areas to create new vendors. With four years of development behind it, Biomorph is a polished and content-rich game worth trying for both genre fans and newcomers. Awaken Astral Blade is an upcoming Metroidvania that will release in full on October 23rd, a larger-than-life Metroidvania with massive monsters, precise platforming, and more earth-shattering magic than you can shake a gated map at. It's jam-packed with all of the above and more, tracking some of bionically enhanced protagonist Tanya's turbulent journey to reveal her origins and fate. You will play as Tanya through the rainforests of the Horus Islands in search of the missing investigation force, but I instead find that a deadly energy has flooded the archipelago that's mutated its animals and plants into deadly beasties. Customizing her loadout is essential for survival, combining talents, weapons, abilities, and costumes. And before it's released for Awaken Astral Blade, you can play the free game Awaken Astral Blade First Contact on Steam. Frontier Hunter Urza's Wheel of Fortune is an action-packed Metroidvania that unexpectedly charms players with its gameplay and deep customization. The story follows Urza, a beloved hunter and streamer who crashlands on an unfamiliar planet, accompanied by her companion Sierra and the native Neil, alongside a quirky talking hair clip named Diablos. The combat system includes unlockable weapon skills and spells that encourage experimentation, while magic cores provide further character building and customization options. The boss battles are challenging and well-designed, requiring players to learn patterns and react quickly. Not only that, the exploration of diverse locales and satisfying movement upgrades enhances the overall enjoyment of the game, making it feel rewarding.
My introduction to the Mamadora series was through Mamadora Reverie Under the Moonlight in 2016, which left me feeling engaged despite my lack of background knowledge. With the release of Mamadora Moonlit Farewell, the narrative weaves together familiar and new plot threads. In this game, players control Momo, a priestess warrior investigating a demon resurgence, and the game emphasizes lore more than its predecessor, which may be challenging for newcomers. Initially, gameplay feels sluggish, but as players progress, abilities like dashes and double jumps enhance exploration and combat. The game has numerous collectibles that enhance combat, including sigil cards and adorable companions. Boss battles are also a highlight, showcasing breathtaking cinematic moments not often seen in other Metroidvanias. Bow Path of the Teal Lotus is an enchanting 2D Metroidvania that beautifully integrates elements from Japanese mythology into its gameplay. You will play as Bow. You will navigate through magical landscapes filled with charismatic yokai while attempting to reunite the Usagi clan. The platforming mechanics are fast-paced and demanding, featuring tricky terrain and clever puzzles that deepen the gameplay. While the controls have some quirks, especially the convoluted extra jump mechanic, the boss battles offer a real sense of scale and variety, demanding practice and strategy to conquer. The design often evokes comparisons to Hollow Knight, with similar mechanics and aesthetic elements that may feel familiar but nevertheless enhance the experience. Anima Flux is a cooperative metroidvania that emphasizes local multiplayer gameplay, filling a long-standing gap in the genre. Players control two characters, Roy and Eileen, each with distinct combat styles, as they navigate through a chaotic laboratory and battle mutant adversaries in a 10 to 12 hour adventure. Although the gameplay mechanics promote teamwork through light puzzles and cooperative combat, the combat system feels limited and repetitive, with character balance favoring Eileen's ranged attacks over Roy's close combat style. With an easy-to-understand map design and a picture-in-picture -picture feature to keep players connected, the game excels at cooperative play while offering a variety of side quests. However, the single-player experience suffers due to its focus on collaboration, making it less enjoyable alone. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown is a standout 2.5D metroidvania that showcases Ubisoft's commitment to crafting immersive gaming experiences. Playing as Sargon, a member of the Immortals tasked with rescuing the kidnapped prince, players navigate beautifully detailed environments and engage in fluid, satisfying combat. The game strikes a balance between challenging traversal and dynamic combat, with innovative mechanics and a rewarding skill progression system. I already mentioned this game in previous videos, but I think many people still sleep on this game. So, why should you play Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown? If you are a fan of action platformers or metroidvanias, you thrive on conquering souls like boss fights using your wit and skill. This game promises an unforgettable journey filled with epic battles and rich lore. For a bonus, we have our Zet the Jewel of Faramore. The gameplay diverges from traditional 2D platformers by incorporating Metroidvania elements that encourage players to revisit levels for collectibles and new pathways. Players control our Zet, who can jump and slash enemies, and gradually unlock additional abilities such as a reflective ring and a double jump. The game's platforming can be unforgiving at times, especially with increased speed from special boots, making precise jumps more challenging. Initially, players start with only three hearts and limited resources, but exploring levels allows for the unlocking of more hearts and abilities, easing the difficulty over time. The game includes various items like a bomb glove and canteen, which assist in both exploration and combat but require refilling at shops using rubies collected in-game. Nine Souls is a 2D Souls-like game that builds on Sekiro's parry system within a Metroidvania framework, offering a challenging yet rewarding experience. The protagonist, E, a unique character resembling either a mouse or fox, embarks on a journey in the beautifully crafted but dark world of New Kunlun, aiming to defeat nine oppressive rulers. 
The combat features a rhythmic dance of strikes, parries, and explosive magic, making each encounter feel engaging and fluid. Although the game presents a steep learning curve and some frustrating moments, it superbly balances challenge and encouragement, allowing players to feel powerful despite frequent deaths. With interlocking zones and upgrades discovered through exploration, Nine Souls delivers a rich Metroidvania environment that feels cohesive and rewarding. And that's it for today. What do you think about this list? I know there are amazing Metroidvania games that released in this 2024 that I haven't mentioned yet, please share your favorite that you think deserve a spot here. And don't forget to like this video and make sure subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. And as always, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.